The Maker's Garage crew are becoming regulars here at Carbide 3D HQ in Torrance, California. Today, we give you all the details on the Nomad 3. This is the third iteration of the Category Creator, the benchmark machine for desktop milling, modified and refined, 100% US made and unparalleled in company support. Dedication to an ethos, a concept, high quality machines for a fair price, a dedication to doing things right. If we want specifics, we have a man on speed dial. We know who to talk to, especially if you watch Carbide 3D, you know him, you love him, a social media star for the company here, and a guy who has a reverence for the imperial measurement category. Come on in, Winston Moy. Hey, Kevin. Thanks for joining us once again here on the Maker's Garage. Oh, I'm always happy to be here and uh, talk in CNC. Yeah, we're gonna talk about this Nomad 3 now, and when you went to redo it, what was right about this machine? What was right about this particular machine? Well, okay, what was right about the Nomad? So the Nomad's always been great because it's a self-contained unit that you can bring anywhere. It's capable, um, it's portable, um, but it's also built like a tank. So people could buy it, they could put it in their shop, they could, uh, maybe not in their living room, but basement, garage. Um, it was a trusty machine. It was a sidekick you could keep around and entrust with making just about anything. Okay, so there's a lot, right, with the, the general platform. You dive into the process of what can we add to this machine, its capability. Where did you start? What were the wants? So biggest thing was spindle, right? So the old Nomad 883 Pro had a 10,000 RPM spindle. When you're doing precise work with PCB mills, with engravers, RPM is really king um, because those cutters take little bites out of the material and the faster you can turn that cutter, the more bites you can take, the faster you can cut. Um, and that was really the limiting factor on the old Nomad. Um, so we have more than doubled the RPM of the spindle. We've given it more power. Um, so basically for the, the small, the precise jobs that you're trying to do, this is a much more productive machine. And for one of the other precise things you want to do, you have lights in here now. That seems to be a huge upgrade from the machine. You don't have to right. worry about the light in your room so much. That was a quality of life thing because a lot of times if you're in your garage, if you're in your shop and you're leaning over this machine, you're actually casting a pretty big shadow on your workpiece. And when you're trying to look at small parts, it can be a bit of an eye strain. So the lights in here make it so that you can work freely. If you're trying to shoot video, uh, like I have been doing a lot, it just, it makes it a much more pleasant machine to use. It's a YouTube star, the Nomad 3, a YouTube star in waiting. Where did the refinement ideas come from? Um, I would say, as someone who uses the machine all the time, uh, it just comes from places where we see we can improve. If I'm cutting something and it's too slow and I wish I had more power, I just put that on my wish list. And over time, we've built up enough of these that we decided, hey, it's time to, to make a bigger change than just an incremental, hey, let's switch from mechanical switches to proximity switches. Uh, we got to a point where we were like, hey, we need to do a complete overhaul for this machine. We have so many changes that we want to do. Let's make the, the generational change from the 883 Pro to the Nomad 3. In addition to the machine, when you purchase it, you get a really nice software package that comes with it. A whole bunch, now Alibre is brand new. People are familiar with Carbide Create and mm -hmm. Carbide Motion. Um, so this is a machine that you can do a lot with. And so we wanted to give them a software package that could support what people want to make with this. So not only do you, do you have 2D um, CAD and CAM with Carbide Create, you can also model things in 3D with Alibre and then bring that into MeshCam to machine. Yeah, MeshCam, a, a far superior option in terms of other machines that are in a similar price point. Yeah, it, it's a very good value product and it makes it really easy to take a 3D model STL and then bring that into the program, generate tool paths for it, even two-sided machining if you want to use something like a flip jig um, and bring your 3D parts to life. Who's buying this machine? Uh, so a variety of people. Um, people who generally buy this machine are looking for something that runs out of the box. Um, they may not want to tinker with a machine they have to assemble themselves, but they want something that's reliable, ready to go. And this could be anything from educators for, to jewelry people, um, people who are doing small craft things. Um, you do have some woodworkers who do smaller scale things uh, that would benefit from the precision of this machine. Uh, small metal workers, um, basically, anyone who's making something 
Um, I mean, you could target this machine to anyone who sells something on Etsy. Um, it's the perfect companion to make small parts. Uh, you also have electronics people. PCB milling is also an option on this machine. So right. it, our users cover a really wide gamut. Yeah, carbide copper is something that doesn't necessarily get mentioned all the time, but another part of the software package that's always available. Yeah, um, it doesn't get mentioned a lot, but it is a really easy way to bring in um, electronics files for PCBs to machine them, to drill through holes, to cut out traces. Um, yeah, it's out there if people want to use it. All right, so if you're doing prototypes, if you're an engineer and you already know what you're doing, that's great. This machine is certainly ready for that. But what if I'm buying it for the first time? There's a pretty interesting policy you guys have. It is mistakes are on us for 30 days. What does it entail? It's unlike anything any other company is offering. So we've been building these machines for long enough that we understand what people do wrong, what's most likely to break. So we decided to double down on the fact that we will support these machines. We will make sure you get up and running. So if you crash the machine, if something breaks, we will replace it. Um, if you break a cutter, one of our cutters, um, and you just you didn't know what speeds and feeds to use in aluminum, we'll send you a replacement. Um, we're gonna stand by you until you're up and running and able to machine what you wanna machine. Uh, we have a support staff that's brilliant and capable and patient, and they will walk you through whatever you need until you can operate this machine safely, reliably on your own. Winston mentioned earlier that you could take this machine anywhere you want to take it. You took it on a cross-country cross trip and did machining all the way I from did. the East Coast to the West Coast. <laughs> it, it was a fun journey. Um, you can fit this pretty easily in the back of a trunk. Um, I would say the only thing you have to look out for are the chips. Um, you don't want to empty out aluminum chips uh, as you move. They but don't come out of carpet very well. They don't. Uh, it's really tough to vacuum. But a machine like this, you can pick it up, you can place it anywhere. It's built like a tank, so it stays, it, it doesn't flex, it doesn't go out of tram or out of square. So it's really easy to just take it out of a car, take it to someone else's shop, start machining, um, because it's a self-contained unit. Uh, so that's, I mean, that's one of my favorite things about the machine is that you can take it just about anywhere. Not only is the unit self-contained, but also the software is self-contained. So literally, when you take this where you wanna go, all you need is one plug. The question is, where will you take it? Whether in the workshop, studio, home office, remote office, or on the move, Nomad 3 can easily be taken along. Requiring just a power connection, 110 to 240, and a direct connection to your computer, you can make parts anywhere. You don't need an online connection. You're not tethered to a third party. This is not cloud software. Prototyping, educating, making, learning, experimenting, wherever and whenever you want. That's the Nomad 3. Every Nomad 3 is made in California. From billet to finished machine, this is a 100% USA made product. Manufactured, assembled, calibrated, and shipped to you from Carbide 3D's Torrance office. Support for all Carbide 3D machines is US based. The company is here as a partner, no matter your level of experience. Everything about this machine and the ongoing efforts to provide you with a powerful platform are American made. Additionally, the Mistakes Are On Us policy is unprecedented in the industry and only available with Carbide 3D. You're supervising the making of this machine, the prototyping of this machine. Has that process accelerated for you guys? Do you do more now? Uh, we definitely do. So one of the things that we wanted to do when we made the Nomad 3 was maintain a greater level of control over the, the quality of the machine, the parts. Um, and by bringing it in-house, we're also able to iterate a lot faster. So if we see a small change, a small tweak in the parts, we can make it ourselves, test it in the machine, um, and that's how we developed this machine. Uh, we started back in March, April, um, and we just we started machining parts, bolting them onto the machines. We had an old Nomad 883 Pro as a test bench, and we just slowly added parts. As we approved them, we started building the finished uh, Nomad 3 chassis that you see here, and it just it's a good way um, to ensure that you maintain the quality of the product that you want and to add in all the features that you want to do it all in-house. I don't know if this will be unfortunate when Skynet becomes self-aware and we all suffer the destruction that we know from Terminator, but you guys are not kidding about producing parts on these machines. You guys do that right now. We do. Um, so there are small parts that uh, might not be cost-effective to injection mold, so we'll just machine them ourselves. 
there are small bits in this machine um, that we will cut out because um, quite frankly, to do a small part on a big uh, industrial CNC, it doesn't actually make sense. And this machine flies through plastic. So there are actually some parts in here, like we can point out later, the uh, bottom bracket that supports the lead screw in the Z axis, that's machined on the Nomad. Um, in the bit zero, our corner finding tool, the little diffuser insert is also something that's made on the Nomad. So we really build tools to make tools um, and we're not afraid to use what we produce um, on a regular basis and really put it to the test. And that experience helps make this machine even better because we're using it ourselves, we're getting experience and we know what we want to improve and how to make it better. One other big note about the software that has to be said is this is not cloud-based. You don't need an internet connection and you don't need a subscription. Why that decision? Is that an ethos in the company? Making software that's not only accessible, but easy to use and isn't cumbersome with licensing restrictions is definitely something that we want to do. So with our software, we make sure that once you download it, you can keep using it. Um, and especially if you're working in a basement, in a garage, in a shed that's separated from your house, uh, you might have a weak Wi-Fi signal. We don't want that to hold you back, which is why all of our software is not cloud-based. You download it to your computer, you can run it anywhere. Important note with Alibre, that is a Windows-based software, correct? That is. Um, a lot of people use Windows. It's the more popular operating system, but unfortunately, um, it is Windows only. But MeshCam, Carbide Create, and Carbide Motion are all Mac and PC. The software that we create for controlling the, the machine and generating 2D toolpaths, uh, Carbide Create and Carbide Motion are for Mac and Windows. Along with the machine, when you purchase it, you have a whole bunch of options too. There's an ecosystem of parts that have been developed over time. The flip jig is one that comes to mind if you want to do some other machining. Uh, the vice, the low profile mm -hmm. vice. What else can I put into the machine that is already in that ecosystem? Uh, I mean, basically anything you want. We also have a threaded table, which takes M6 hardware. We have clamps. Um, the tiger claws. The tiger claws and also the gator tooth. Um, so you have a lot of options for work holding material. Another one of our favorites is the uh, super hold kit, which is uh, super glue combined with uh, painter's tape. And that is a really easy way to um, basically secure large sheets of material that you need fully supported. There's almost nothing you can't work hold on this machine. What is the workspace that's available? So based on the legacy of the machine, the Nomad 883 Pro, it's eight inches by eight inches by three inches. That part has not changed. And we also have the tool length probe, which is located off of our table, so it doesn't cut into your usable workspace. One of the refinements of this machine I notice is that there are no cables visible, and now you have increased visibility of your parts as well. You guys have really taken this to a space where you can see what you're doing. That's one of those changes that came about from me using the machine and wanting to improve it. Um, visibility of the parts from the side angles is kind of important for me as a content creator, but also when you're trying to line up the cutter with the front or back edge of a part, it's really hard to look in if you don't have a line of sight from the side. So the windows make it a lot easier to see what you're doing, to observe it from a different angle, to shoot video. Um, and also if you want to get some illumination from the side, you can do that too. Yeah, I mean, it's a beautiful package just when you open it up and turn it on. It's really nice. And you have to have it closed in order to run it, right? Safety. That is a safety feature we have, um, especially for people in the education space. Uh, you have kids using these machines. Um, when the machine is in operation, if you open the door, the spindle will pause so that nothing flies out of the machine. We've talked about people who are experienced with these machines or something like it are in that space, know what they're doing. Folks that don't, when they order a machine, what do they need to do just to get started? So this machine comes with an accessory pack um, with basically everything you need to get started. So if you look on the side here, there are three connectors. One of them is for our bit zero touch probe. One of them is USB to connect to the computer. And one of them is power. Those are the only things you need to plug in to get this machine ready to go. Um, so it's very easy to just pull the machine out of the box, set it on a table, plug everything in, and you're ready to machine. Yeah, it's a one plug operation. You just need power and your laptop. As mm -hmm. long as you have some battery power, you are ready. Yeah, it's a really easy way to get a machine uh, and make it approachable. So mm -hmm. you can take this machine, pull it out of the box, set it down, and you're ready to go within a matter of minutes. We have a variety of projects that you can download, look at, take inspiration from, machine them yourself. 
and uh, get started. And not only all the accessories we talked about, but also the bits. You guys have a whole wide variety of end mills that are available through Carbide. Yeah, so we have, over time, taken a look at the kinds of cutters that people need to get their projects done. And so we've started stocking them to make it easy for them to buy the machine and also buy the tooling they need to make their projects. You have a recommendation people purchase the machine, what comes with it in terms of end mills and what do they really use immediately? What are the go-tos? So we provide an eighth inch end mill for you to get started, which is a good general purpose cutter. But depending on what you want to machine, if you want to machine really precise things, you might want a smaller cutter, a 16th inch or a 132nd inch or a PCB engraver. Um, so it really depends on what you want to make, how big it is, mm -hmm. uh, what material it's made out of. But we've got you covered for a very large variety of projects. Can we run this thing? Can we put yeah. a little project in and, and make something right now? Let's make some chips. Yeah, as always here on Maker's Garage. All right, Winston, we've done it again. We have. We've made a mess. We've had some fun. That's how you know it's a good day. Let's get this thing out of here. Let's, yeah, uh, let's do it. Let's get our aluminum block out. Great thing for apartment dwellers, if you want to not make so much noise for your neighbors, this is the machine for you. You have a small space to work with. Oh, it's chunky nice. block of aluminum. It is still a little warm. It's nice. Yeah, still a little warm. Perfect I'm for the winter time. A note here, huge success. Oh, well, that's good for today. All right. Thanks for being our machining spirit guide. Thanks for uh, coming to check out what the Nomad's capable of. All right. We had a lot of fun here on the Maker's Garage today, again, here at Carbide 3D. Remember, with the Nomad 3, all the improvements we discussed, you own the software, you get the opportunity to choose where and when to run it. So many pauses with the company and mistakes are on them. The mistakes are on us policy for 30 days. Don't forget that incredible value. It's been a lot of fun to be inside HQ once again. I think I'm going to actually ask for a desk. Let me talk to Winston about that. Winston, I'm going to need a desk and yes, definitely. I need parking too. Personalized parking. I don't want to have to go anywhere to get in my car.